Hello everyone. So today we'll look at a feature of a tool called Burp Suit, uh, which allows us to intercept network requests and modify the responses. So I've created a, a small uh, demo server with uh, Fastify. So it just does this simple thing. It has a global variable called count and every time we hit this route, it gets incremented and then it passes down uh, as a JSON with the count field. So that's all the server does. And the client is uh, just a fetch call that fetches it and then puts it uh, within this uh, DOM element with the ID count. So it's, a, it's just a basic setup just to demo how we could use that tool. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with that. So first thing is I'm going to open up that tool. It's Burp Suit Community Edition. Yeah. So let's wait till the uh, tool fires up. Yeah. I'm just going to make this as a temporary project, and I'm just going to use the Burp defaults. So let's wait till the project starts up and. Uh, the thing we are interested now or we would like to explore in this video is just the interception of uh, server requests and responses. So for that, we will go to the proxy tab. Uh, and first thing is we have to open a browser. This is like, a, a, it opens a pre-configured browser. In, in our case, it will open a Chrome, Chromium browser with pre-configured uh, things uh, I mean settings so that uh, we could uh, the tool could intercept it yeah so we will open it and once we open it we get this uh, chromium browser here so one thing we'll do is uh, I'll go ahead and start the server okay the server is already running I'll just stop it and start the server again so server is now running and my client is running here so i'll so so it's a simple thing right so uh, this uh it just displays the count uh, and every time we uh, hit the count uh endpoint it just gets incremented so now the current count as four so if we hit it again it will be five so let's intercept this call and modify this uh, let's see how that behavior happens let's go to the verb tool and let's turn the intercept on and let's hit the endpoint now if we go here so this is not something we are interested in, so we could forward this. Yes, localhost 4000 is the uh, server where our server is. So I want to intercept this, so do intercept the response to this request and then forward it. I can forward this, yeah. So if you look at it, the count is returned as five. It was four earlier and now it's five. That's what we expect. Let us modify this. So now I have modified it and I'll forward this request. I can forward it and let's see. So we have essentially modified the uh, server's request. So what we did here is we intercepted the uh, uh, server's response uh, uh, and then we modified the response and then passed it back. So this is mostly used by uh, security researchers, uh, cyber security researchers. The tool itself is uh, for, uh, for quite popular in the cyber security domain. But as a developer, I mostly use this to simulate certain responses from the server to see how uh, uh, the app would behave when we receive a combination of uh, responses. Uh, that I cannot really trigger from. For example, uh, the case I would typically uh, use this is 
uh, if the server sends me something like uh, is admin or something like that uh, if i set that to true by intercepting it uh, and then uh, I, I would go and uh, in the app i would check if i'm able to modify so uh, what i'm doing here is i'm just checking whether there is a server side validation uh, or it's just client side thing so there uh, as a developer i can improve the security there if it if it passes through and goes into the server and modifies uh, an entity that is not supposed to be modified then it it becomes a privilege escalation right so uh, those sort of things uh, for the basic test for the initial test i i use this tool uh, hope this is helpful and uh, see you all in, uh, in in the next video thank you bye